Hi guys, another pulse motor. This is a bit sort of backwards to be honest. I'd intended to make this one last night and progress to the one that I did last night tonight. The difference is this one uses a little reed switch magnetically actuated and the one I did the other night or last night used two transistors and the idea was to demonstrate the reed switch switching on and off the transistor to run the pulse motor and then progress to two transistors to take the place of the reed switch but I couldn't find what I'd done with my pack of reed switches that I bought off eBay the other day so I was stuck last night so I did the other pulse motor and then tonight I found one of the reed switches so I'll show it to you in a second so what we've got here is a 2222 transistor um, just a general purpose transistor and then we got the reed switch mounted on this uh, lollipop stick with a bit of blue tack to hold it in position and every time one of the magnets flies past it it makes the circuit that switches on the transistor and the transistor sends a pulse of current through this coil and then as soon as the magnets moved on a bit then the reed switch breaks again and the circuit stops so we're just getting a pulse of power going through that coil and that pushes the magnet away. Uh, you can probably see the LED flickering away down there to indicate each time the circuit is made. So if we stop this, okay, LED's on, off, on, off, on, off. Hope the camera's picking that up. So there's four magnets on the lid. So when the circuit makes, when the LED comes on, the magnet nearest to the coil is repelled. So I need to give it just a little push to get it past and then the next one will come round. It will find its natural um, speed, the one it's comfortable with, with the switch in that position and the magnets spaced the way they are. It's wobbling around a little bit at the moment. The plastic lid has just got a normal knitting needle, not knitting needle, sewing needle through the middle of it, pushed right through it and it's held in place. We've got magnets on the top and magnets on the bottom and they're magnetically attracting the needle. So it's actually suspended in the middle there. The point of the needle is touching the magnet on the bottom, but there's actually a gap between the top one and the top magnet. Uh, take the power off, and you can see it's a very low friction bearing, so that will keep running for quite a while before it slows down. And if I connect the power back up again before it slows down it will speed up again and then if I take the reed switch off there's a little glass tube there or glass capsule where we've got a wire goes into it at both ends and then there's contacts in there that are normally just not touching and when you bring a magnet next to them that makes them attract 
so they make contact. So at the moment LEDs not lighting up. Have I got a handy magnet anywhere? I think this might be magnetic. Yeah. Probably see the LEDs coming on. Yeah. So if I put this back in position at the right place. It picks up speed again. I'll just use blue tack because it's a convenient way of moving it if you need to adjust it. I've actually got a variable resistor or a potentiometer there in circuit with the switch just to, so we don't have full power going through the switch because sometimes they weld themselves together if there's too much of a spark. So I'll put a link in the video description to the previous video where I showed you how I made this. I didn't actually do a build video, I just told you the details. Well, I suppose I could do that now anyway. The outer ring is just a sticky tape roll. Something like that. Which just happens to be the right diameter to get the plastic lid with the magnets on the outside inside. Just grab that again. So there we are. Needle pushed through the middle, and then these magnets are held in place by these magnets inside. They're all um, the same pole on the outside. It doesn't really matter which pole it is, because you're if you've got it pointing the wrong way, you can just reverse the current through the coil so you get the right pole to repel. You want them to repel, not attract. You can see the bottom magnet there. So that just sits on top of that magnet. There we go. I'll just move the camera so you can see that it's suspended in there. So you can probably see there we go. It's not touching the top magnet, but it is balanced on the bottom one. Give it a little tap to get it going. So there we go, job done.